Excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry to bother you, but could you please spare some change so I can buy some food? I haven't eaten anything all day. <sighs> sorry, I can't help you. <sighs> please, ma'am, I'm really hungry. I don't have anywhere to go or anyone to turn to. Even a little bit would make a difference. I already told you, I can't help you. Please leave us alone. <sighs> I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't mean to upset you. It's just that I'm in a dire situation and I'm trying everything I can to survive. I said no. Can't you see I have a child with me? <sighs> You're not thinking about anyone but yourself. Look what you've done. My child slipped and fell because of your constant begging. This is all your fault. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Is your child okay? Get away from us! You're nothing but trouble! I'm truly sorry for what happened. I'll leave you alone now. Just go! <sighs> Mama and Papa are hungry there. <laughs> Mama! Papa, wake up! I have something for you! Where did you get that bread, Willow? I found it lying on the road. It was just there, untouched. <laughs> That's fortunate, Willow. Thank you for bringing it to us. But, my dear, did you eat anything yourself? You must be hungry, too. Yes, Mama, I ate. Don't worry about me. Thank you. Next time, I'll give you more delicious food. <laughs> yes, Willow. We appreciate your resourcefulness. You're growing up to be a responsible young woman. Where are you going, Willow? Oh, I'm just going out to play for a little while, Mama. All right, but remember not to stay out too late. It's important to be back before dark. I will, Mama. Don't worry, I won't be long. I just want to enjoy some time outside. Bye. Goodbye. I don't have any friends or family. It's so lonely. Seems like nobody wants to be my friend. Everyone here is well off and I feel like I don't fit in because I don't have the same things they do. How could someone like me find a friend? <sighs> Help me! No. Help me! Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Help me! Excuse me, ma'am. I'm feeling very hungry. Could you please spare something to eat? <gasps> I'm sorry, but I don't have any food with me. Oh. Excuse me, ma'am. Could you kindly spare some money so that I can buy some food? Move aside! I'm in a hurry! Ow! Ouch! <laughs> can I help? Have we met before? No, we haven't met before. Uh, my name's John. And what's your name? Huh? My name is Willow. I'm not sure how you can help me, John. I'm hungry and I don't have anything to eat. I'm also in search of food. Shall we look together? Hmm. All right, but it seems like no one is willing to lend a helping hand. Sometimes we need to rely on ourselves and find solutions. <laughs> That's good. But how can we possibly do that when we have absolutely nothing? Hmm. We should be brave and take a chance. Let's give it a try. Okay. Where do you live? I haven't seen you around before. I live on a footpath near a public school. <laughs> do you live by yourself or do you have someone with you? No, I live with my parents. That's good. <laughs> and what about you? Sometimes I live on the footpath, sometimes at the bus stop or somewhere else. What about your parents? I don't have parents. <sighs> I'm sorry, John. Memories of my origins elude me. The identity of my parents remains a mystery, lost to the winds of time. These streets have become my home, a place where I spent my formative years seeking solace through the act of begging. Where are your shoes? I don't have any shoes. <sighs> I'm amazed! How do you manage to walk around without any shoes? 
The streets and roads can be scorching hot. It's nearly impossible to walk barefoot. <laughs> I've grown accustomed to it. I no longer perceive the sensation. Please, take my shoes. I don't sense the warmth of the street. Walking without shoes is manageable for me, but thank you. a place to have some fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're unable to enter the park due to certain restrictions. That's really disheartening. But I know a place where we can go. <laughs> then let's go! Would you mind if we joined in and played with you? We're really good at playing. No, please stay away from us. Please, let's play together. We don't have any friends. Just take a look at yourselves. You guys are losers. We can't play with losers. <laughs> John, let's leave them. We can play somewhere else. go now. It's getting late. Let's search for dinner first. Let's go. The dustbin is empty. Oh no. I believe someone took the food before we did. So we should make sure to be earlier tomorrow. I have some money. Take this and use it to buy something to eat for yourself and your parents. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yes, please accept it. Okay. Thank you. You're getting late. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Look, Mama. Look, Papa. I bought this delicious food for you. Oh, my dear princess. Thank you so much. You're such a thoughtful, loving child. We are truly grateful. <laughs> Yes, Willow, I'm... <coughs> I'm okay. What's the matter? Is your throat hurting? <coughs> I'm not sure. I've been having trouble breathing for the past few days. <coughs> Don't worry, my dear. Willow, my brave girl, please take care of your mother. I will go and arrange some medicine to help her feel better. Appointment. <laughs> 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 
But we don't have any money to pay the bill. I'm sorry, but we cannot provide assistance if the bill is not paid. Please understand, we're in a difficult situation. I sympathize with your situation, but we have policies in place. Without payment, we cannot proceed. If you don't have money, please leave the reception area. Let's go, Willow. I'll be fine. Okay. the medications? Why don't you have them with you? And what did the doctor say about your mother's health? They refused to let us in for the checkup at the hospital because we couldn't afford to pay the bill and the appointment fee. <laughs> there must be something we can do. She's very sick. We have to arrange cash for medication. Without any money, it seems there's no way for us to buy the medication. I'm going to get some cash together. Don't worry, my loves. I won't let anything happen to you. Mm -hmm. Mama, where did Papa go? What will he do now? We have no other source of income, apart from begging. it from a nearby store, my dear. We'll make sure to repay them once we're able to. But David, this is so much money. How will we ever be able to repay such an amount? We'll find a way, Grace. Please, don't worry about it. Right now, your priority is to go to the hospital and pay for your treatment. Mama, it'll be okay. We have the money now. We can finally get you the help you need! <laughs> I have already informed you before that admission without payment is not possible within this hospital. It is our policy, and I'm unable to make any exceptions. Please, we have the money now! We can pay right away! All we ask is to book an appointment with a good doctor for my mother's treatment. Hmm... I apologize for the inconvenience. Let me assist you with booking the appointment. I have booked your appointment with Dr. Miller. You have to wait 15 minutes at Dr. Miller's office. Thank you, Willow, for everything, and a special thanks to your papa for arranging the money for my treatment. <laughs> we are a family, Mama. We'll always support and take care of each other, no matter what. <laughs> Willow, Grace, you can go in now. Dr. Miller is ready to see you. Okay. Hi, Grace. I'm Dr. Miller. How are you feeling today? Hmm. I've been coughing a lot. <sighs> hmm. Ooh. 
I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like you've been through a lot. Let's take a closer look and figure out how we can help you. Is my mama going to be okay, doctor? We'll do our best, Willow. Your mother's in good hands. We'll get to the bottom of this and make her feel better. I promise. <laughs> Grace, based on your symptoms and initial assessment, it's possible that you have pneumonia. <sighs> it's an infection in your lungs that needs to be treated promptly. What does that mean, doctor? Can it be cured? Mm -hmm. Yes, pneumonia can be treated, especially if we catch it early. We'll run some tests to confirm the diagnosis and then start the appropriate treatment to help you recover. Whoa. I know medical bills can be overwhelming, but please don't worry about that right now. We have resources available to help patients in need. Your health is the priority. Okay. Thank you, doctor. We're so grateful. <laughs> You're both very welcome. It's my duty to care for people like you. Now, let's get those tests done, and we'll take it from there. Yes! <coughs> Good afternoon. How can I assist you today? We're here for the test the doctor ordered from my mom, Grace. Okay. Of course. Please, have a seat. We'll call you shortly. Thank you. Kindly go to the lab for the test. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, Miss Grace. We'll start with a chest x-ray to get a clearer picture of what's happening in your lungs. It won't take long, and then we'll move on to the next test. <laughs> The doctor will review your test results and discuss the next steps with you shortly. In the meantime, here are the prescriptions for your medications. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Your lungs have suffered damage from pneumonia. But there's no need to worry. I'm prescribing a medicine for you. Take it diligently and on schedule, and you will recover. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We're fortunate to have assistant programs for patients in need. So this medication's available to you at a discounted price. It should help you alleviate the financial burden for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. It means the world to us. <laughs> Take care of your mother. Make sure she follows the prescribed medication for a speedy recovery. <laughs> I will. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Thank you. We truly appreciate your help. Your father's been accused of stealing money from a store. We have to take him into custody. Please, officers! He did it for us to get the money for my mother's treatment! We can pay it back somehow, but please don't take him away! I understand your situation, but the store owners press charges. We have a duty to enforce the law. Hmm. Stay strong, my loves. I'll find a way to make things right. Take care of each other. <laughs> we can't 
can't let this break us, Mama. We'll find a way to get him back, I promise. you, Willow. It seems as if my entire sense of purpose in this life has been shattered. I don't deserve to live. Your father is in jail because of me. He stole money to pay for my medication. I'm nothing but a burden to both of you. so scared. My mother vanished without a trace. I've searched everywhere, but she's nowhere to be found. She's in critical condition and I'm deeply worried about her. But Willow, where were you and your father when your mother disappeared? The police took my papa to jail. He took money from a store last night to buy medicine for mama. I was sleeping and when I woke up, she was gone. <sighs> oh no. I think your mom may have gotten sick again last night and went to the hospital for treatment without waking you up. You might be right, John. I hadn't thought about that. Maybe Mama went to the hospital for her treatment without waking me up. But I'm still worried about her. Let's go search for your mama together. Excuse me, ma'am? Have you happened to see my mom here? I'm sorry, dear, but I do not know your mom. But if you tell me her name, I can check if she came here during the night shift. Her name is Grace David. I'm sorry, dear, but your mom hasn't been here after her checkup last night. Is there any other place you think your mom might be, Willow? Mm -hmm. My mom doesn't really go out much. She always stays with Papa on the footpath. Don't worry, Willow. We'll figure this out. Let's go to the police station and see if your mom went there to see your father. Okay. Let's go and check there. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen my mom? Is she here? I'm sorry, young one. This is a police station, not a place to visit casually. People usually come here for legal matters. Where is my papa? Can I see my papa? I'm afraid your father is currently in the central jail, young one. If you wish to meet him, you'll need to hire a lawyer and arrange for his bail. Hmm. We don't have enough money to hire a lawyer. How can we find the funds we need? Don't worry, Willow. We'll do our best to collect the necessary funds. We'll find a way to arrange a lawyer and get your father out on bail. Help me! Help! Help! No! No, 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 no. <sighs> we can't hire a lawyer with such a small amount. Don't worry, Willow. We'll find a way. We'll try to gather funds. We'll try again tomorrow. We won't give up on him. I'm really worried about Mama. She was very sick and I don't know if she ate anything or where she might be right now. Stay strong, Willow. Take a deep breath and stay calm. Our first priority is to collect enough funds to hire a lawyer and get your father out of jail. After that, we'll focus on finding your mother. For now, I'm going to get some food for you. Stay right here and I'll be back shortly. Thank you, John. You're so kind and helpful. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, I'm going back to our spot on the footpath. Perhaps Mama will return. Okay, take care and don't lose hope. Who among you is brave enough to step onto this scorcher mat of fire and claim a prize? Please, come forward, sir. Ow! Ouch! This is too hot! Hey! Yes, sir. You can give it a try as well. You're just a kid. This challenge is extremely difficult. Only a select few can conquer it and win the prize. It's not a piece of cake. Please, sir, give me a chance. I believe in myself and I know I can do it. I'm ready to prove that age doesn't define one's abilities. Oh, kid. Okay, you can start. Wow. 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 One more. One more! Walk again! Oh. Wow! <laughs> Here's your well-deserved reward, my young champion. Thank you so much, sir! This means the world to me! All of that? Belongs to you, my golden-footed kid. And of course, I'd be honored if you join me here always. How does that sound? Do I have a job? Is this for real? Hmm. Indeed, my talented and spirited young friend. You now have a special place here with us. Your job is to continue captivating hearts with your incredible gift, inspiring all who witness your extraordinary talents. Because now I have a job! I can earn money to free my papa from jail and find my mama! <laughs> That's fantastic, Willow! Uh, what kind of job did you get? I have to walk on a heated mat of fire to earn the reward. It may sound challenging, but I'm not afraid. I've learned to walk barefoot on scorching streets, just like I told you before. Now I can use this talent to help papa and find mama! I'm amazed, Willow! How do you manage to walk around without any shoes? The streets and roads can be scorching hot. It's nearly impossible to walk barefoot. <sighs> I've grown accustomed to it. The sensation doesn't bother me anymore. I've developed a resilience to the heat. <laughs> this is truly wonderful, Willow. It's a happy moment for us. Let's save this money for your papa's bail. We'll make sure he comes back home soon. <laughs> Absolutely, John. Tomorrow, we'll go to the market and you'll see firsthand how I walk in the fiery mat. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I can't wait, Willow. Tomorrow will be a day filled with hope and promise. Uh, we'll be one step closer to bringing your papa back. Okay. Bye, John. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Hello. How may I assist you, young ones? Huh? Sir, my father has been taken into custody for stealing from a store. He did it to gather funds for my mother's crucial treatment. We desperately want to secure his release from jail. I see. Rest assured, I'll do everything within my power to help your father. You're in good hands, kid. Sir, may I ask about your fees? First and foremost, I'll focus on getting your father out of jail. Once that's accomplished, my fee will be $50. Hm. Thank, Thank you, you sir. sir. <laughs> mm. Okay. 
Princess, thank you. Thank you for bringing me back into your arms. <gasps> Mama! Why were you here? Hmm. I saw her on top of the building. How did you manage all of this, my princess? How? Papa, I have an amazing job now. We're going to buy our own house. <laughs> Papa, Mama, meet my dear friend John. He has been by my side throughout this journey. Hi. He has no parents, so I decided to welcome him into our home. <laughs> of course, he'll be a part of our family. A home filled with love and support. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 